Recession, you hear this a lot at the minute, so I just want to explain what it actually means. Every quarter, so every three months, statisticians, the clever people from Cleverland, they work out how much the country is valued at, okay? And they do this by looking at all the goods and services, what we've produced in those three months. So everything from hairdressing to IT services to supermarkets, okay? Whatever it is. And it's called GDP, which stands for Gross Domestic Product. They also use this figure to compare what we're doing to previous months, okay? And then this gives us a percentage. And if that figure is negative, it means that we're shrinking, okay? I.e. we've produced less goods and services than we did in the previous quarter. Now, if this figure is negative for two consecutive quarters, i.e. six months, it means technically we are in a recession, okay? And the last time this happened was 2020 at the height of the COVID pandemic. It is what you won't hear in the news. It's completely normal and it's considered an unavoidable part of the business cycle. Like if you're in a sales job, you'll know that you've got peaks and you've got troughs when it comes to your figures. And here's the best bit, a recovery always follows a recession, which is just a fancy way of saying things will improve and we will come out of this bigger and better. It's temporary. It's normal, and if anything, for proper investors who aren't panicking and trying to time the market, it's a great opportunity to invest if you're looking at things for the longer term. Thanks for watching. If you took value from the video, remember, like, comment, follow for more, and we'll see you in the next one.